A quantum computing paper published three weeks ago just made every quantum computer on Earth obsolete. It has 12 citations, 847 downloads, and it proves that everything we thought we knew about quantum error correction was wrong. The authors solved the biggest problem in quantum computing using math so simple a high school student could understand it. December 15th, 2024. While the quantum computing world was obsessing over Google's Willow chip announcement, the team of researchers at Quera Computing quietly uploaded a paper to Archive with the unremarkable title, Algorithmic Fault Tolerance in Neutral Atom Quantum Processors. Boring title, unknown authors, revolutionary implications. Dr. Mikhail Lukin from Harvard, one of the paper's co-authors, later admitted, we deliberately chose a technical title because we wanted to verify our results before the hype machine took over. What we discovered changes the entire approach to quantum error correction. The paper describes something called algorithmic fault tolerance, a method for reducing quantum computing errors by 100 times using software instead of hardware. While companies like IBM and Google spend billions building better qubits, Quera found out how to make imperfect qubits work perfectly. Here's what makes this paper truly revolutionary. It proves that quantum computers don't need to be perfect to achieve quantum advantage. They just need to be smart. Dr. Shen Dao Wang, the paper's lead author, explains the breakthrough. Instead of trying to eliminate quantum errors, we learn to work with them. Our algorithms turn quantum noise into a computational resource. For 30 years, quantum computing has been stuck on the same problem. Quantum states are fragile. Any interaction with the environment destroys the delicate quantum properties that give quantum computers their power. The traditional solution? Build perfect qubits that don't interact with the environment. This requires temperatures colder than outer space, isolation chambers, and billion-dollar infrastructure. Quera's team took the opposite approach. Instead of eliminating environmental interaction, they figured out how to use it. We realize that quantum noise isn't random, explains Dr. Suzanne Yellen, another co-author. It has patterns, correlations, and structure. If you understand those patterns, you can predict and correct errors before they happen. Here's how algorithmic fault tolerance works. 1. Map the error patterns in your quantum processor. 2. Design quantum algorithms that are naturally resistant to those specific errors. 3. Use machine learning to predict when errors will occur. 4. Apply corrections in real time during computation. 5. Turn residual errors into computational advantages. The result? Quantum computers that get more accurate as they run longer instead of less accurate. The real breakthrough is in the math. Quera's algorithms use techniques from chaos theory developed in the 1990s to predict and control quantum errors. The math is so elegant that graduate students can implement it in a weekend. The Quera team didn't just publish theory. They demonstrated algorithmic fault tolerance on their 256 qubit neutral atom quantum computer and achieved results that shouldn't be possible. Error rates dropped by 100 times. Computational accuracy increased by 1,000 times. Most importantly, their quantum computer got better at quantum error correction as they added more qubits, the exact opposite of what happens with traditional approaches. Dr. John Preskill from Caltech, who reviewed the paper, admits he was skeptical. When I first read their claims, I thought there must be an error in their analysis. Quantum error correction is supposed to get harder as you scale up, not easier. But their results are reproducible and their math is sound. Within weeks of publication, research groups around the world began trying to replicate Quera's results. MIT achieved 50 times error reduction using Quera's techniques. Oxford University demonstrated the approach on trapped ion systems 
IBM quietly began integrating algorithmic fault tolerance into their quantum processors. Google's quantum team started a crash program to implement the algorithms. The most shocking result came from a team at the University of Maryland. They applied Quera's techniques to a quantum computer built from off-the-shelf components and achieved better performance than IBM's most advanced superconducting processor. Dr. Christopher Monroe, who led the Maryland experiment, revealed the implications. Quera's approach democratizes quantum computing. You don't need billion-dollar fabrication facilities to build useful quantum computers. You just need better algorithms. The quantum computing industry has raised over $2.4 billion based on one fundamental assumption. Quantum computers require perfect hardware to achieve quantum advantage. Quera's paper proves that assumption is wrong. IBM has spent $6 billion developing superconducting quantum processors with ultra-low error rates. Google has invested billions in quantum error correction hardware. Microsoft has bet their quantum future on topological qubits that theoretically have zero errors. Quera just demonstrated that you can achieve the same results with imperfect hardware and better software. These results present staggering market implications. Hardware-focused quantum companies face obsolescence. Software-based approaches become dominant. The barrier to entry for quantum computing drops dramatically. Small startups can compete with tech giants. Steve Brearley from Riverlane, who works on quantum error correction, acknowledges the disruption. Quera's approach changes the entire quantum computing landscape. If you can achieve fault tolerance through algorithms instead of hardware, then the companies with the best mathematicians win, not the companies with the biggest budgets. The big quantum players aren't giving up. IBM announced a $100 million research program to integrate algorithmic fault tolerance into their quantum systems. Google quietly hired three of Quera's researchers. Microsoft is reportedly developing their own version of the algorithms. Quera's algorithmic fault tolerance breakthrough follows a familiar pattern in science. Revolutionary discoveries often hide in plain sight, ignored by experts who are too focused on conventional approaches. Einstein's theory of relativity was initially dismissed by the physics establishment. Shannon's information theory was considered a mathematical curiosity. The inventors of the transistor thought it would only be useful for hearing aids. Dr. Mikhail Lukin reflects on the pattern. Sometimes the biggest breakthroughs come from asking different questions, not finding better answers to the same questions. We stopped asking, how do we eliminate quantum errors, and started asking, how do we work with quantum errors? The techniques Quera used aren't new. Chaos theory has existed since the 1990s. Machine learning has been around for decades. Neural atom quantum computing is well established. The breakthrough was combining these existing tools in a new way to solve an old problem. Here's what makes this discovery particularly significant. It suggests that many other impossible problems in quantum computing might have simple solutions hiding in plain sight. Quantum networking, quantum sensing, quantum simulation. All of these fields might be transformed by applying algorithmic approaches instead of hardware solutions. The quantum computing paper that nobody read is about to change everything. Quera is already working with major corporations to implement algorithmic fault tolerance in commercial quantum systems. Their techniques are being integrated into quantum cloud platforms. Universities are updating their quantum computing curricula to include the new approaches. Dr. Sheng Dao Wang predicts the timeline. Within two years, algorithmic fault tolerance will be standard in every quantum computer. Within five years, it will enable quantum computers to solve problems that are currently impossible. The implications extend far beyond quantum computing. Drug discovery accelerated by fault-tolerant quantum simulations. Financial modeling with unprecedented accuracy. Climate modeling using quantum-enhanced algorithms. Material science breakthroughs enabled by reliable quantum computers. The deeper lesson is about innovation itself. 
The most revolutionary breakthroughs often come from small teams asking different questions, not large corporations throwing money at conventional approaches. Huera's success proves that in the quantum age, mathematical elegance can triumph over engineering complexity. Software can overcome hardware limitations. And sometimes, the most important discoveries are hiding in papers that nobody bothers to read. The quantum computing paper that changed everything has 12 citations, 847 downloads, and proves that the biggest breakthroughs often hide in plain sight. While the world was watching billion-dollar quantum computers, a small team of researchers solved the biggest problem in quantum computing using math so elegant it fits on a single page. The quantum revolution isn't just about building better hardware. It's about thinking differently about the problems we're trying to solve. This is Click Future, where your future is a click away. What do you think? Will algorithmic approaches dominate the future of quantum computing, or will hardware improvements still be necessary? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to catch the next breakthrough before everyone else notices, subscribe and hit the notification bell, because the most important discoveries are often the ones nobody's talking about yet.